Another option G set of questions, we're going to talk about this one. State one example of the accidental release of an alien species that has had a significant impact on an ecosystem. Coming from Australia myself, I'm going to talk about the common rat, which was um, released into Australia, um, as well as New Zealand, around about the time of the settlement, I believe, the late 1700s. They came on ships and subsequently, subsequently caused a lot of damage to the to the um, to the natural fauna of uh, Australia. The important thing that you need is that you need to talk about a named example. It's not good enough to give um, an unnamed example, and you also want to talk about something which has an accidental release, not something which was purposely released. Now the next question is worth three marks and it's a bit trickier. Discuss the impact of alien species on ecosystems. And the way I go about this one is just I, th I think about the common rat and its effect on the na native species of Australia. In this case, the alien species may outcompete local species uh, which occupy a similar niche. So say for example you've got a domestic uh, bilby, so bilby for those of you who are not sure, uh, little creatures that look a bit like rabbits um, but are native to Australia. And rats, they would compete with these bilbies because they're similar in size, they li live in similar habitats, etc. So apart from outcompeting them, the alien species might directly contribute to the demise of that particular species by preying on them. And if that particular species is already low in numbers, if it's already endangered, then that could cause such a decrease that it could cause an it could cause extinction of that particular species. And when I think of the common rat, I think of a very dirty animal as well. So I think that uh, alien species may introduce new diseases to the local ecosystem, and this could damage them uh, particularly so. In fact, uh, in Australia, when the white settlers came over to um, inhabit the uh, inhabit the land, then they often brought over uh, diseases such as smallpox, which uh, which infected the local Aboriginals. And this is an example of introduction of new diseases.